August 18th, 2018. Well, we've had a, uh, a weird growing season this year. It feels like August and June got reversed. June we had very hot, dry, sunny weather, and August it's been raining for the last three weeks on and off. Thunderstorms and showers and very humid and damp. Um, but our aquifers were depleted pretty deeply back uh, uh, through June and into early July with the like uh, drought that we had there and so uh, the ram pump water supply is a little bit low um, I well I guess I'll just explain all this so I had set the new standpipe at a much lower elevation than where the old standpipe was which was over here uh, I guess for elevation reference I'll just show you uh, we were about here uh, with the standpipe for last year and if you follow across level you'll see that the new standpipe is significantly lower I think I dropped it about 18 or 24 inches but um, for some reason we're still having trouble getting enough water into the drive pipe for the ram pump but yet when I open this bypass valve the water flow hasn't been too bad so you can see there's a decent amount of water flow in there but when I close the valve the volume and head pressure is not enough to supply that same volume of water to the drive pipe up here at this higher elevation and I'll give you kind of a level shot here so you can see that this valve is about a foot or so below the inlet to the drive pipe for the ram pump so uh, I've been looking at this for a month and a half or two and I've been supplementing and you know working around it with different various things. You may have seen my video on using the foliar feed pump as a irrigation pump. Um, but I decided that uh, for the cost of one fitting here and one here, it would be worth trying an upgrade. So here we are doing another RAM pump upgrade. Kind of a learn as you go sort of thing. There's not exactly a university you can go to for this sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do is take the hacksaw and cut this down and put a new one of these fittings in in place so that this inlet is a little bit lower and hopefully will deliver more water volume directly to the drive pipe and be able to run the ram pump. Even if it's on one of the lower valves, at least be able to run it and supply some water. Um, we got uh, about an inch of rain between yesterday and today, and so uh, I'm sure that the aquifer will recover a little more with that rain that we've had. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do some upgrades here quick, and then when I get done with them, I'll show you the upgrades. And hopefully that'll put the ramp pump back online and operational. So uh, I hope I've explained this thoroughly, and uh, if not, you, know, you can always ask in the comment section below. You can ask any questions. So without further ado, I'm going to go get this upgrade completed. All right. Well, that took all of about 20 minutes or so, I guess. Uh, not long. Fairly easy changeover. Uh, it's drying and curing now, so I'm not going to test it just yet. But uh, let's just go. That was up there, like that, roughly. So I'd say we gained about six inches drop which I think is probably going to be enough to get uh, the water that gets to the standpipe to go down the drive pipe. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see the results, but uh, I just finished gluing it and I want to let it cure for like at least an hour or so. So uh, we'll come back down and test it in a few. Of course, that'll be virtually instant for you. Well, okay, so it's the next day and uh, it turns out our water supply is still quite low. Ah, but the upgrade did give us some operational functionality. So uh, we aren't running on any of the big valves, but we are running the three quarter inch valve, which uh, I think delivers about 100 gallons a day. So it's not a tremendous amount of water, but at least we're moving some water. So. I would call that success. And uh, either way, when the um, when the water levels come back up, we now have a little bit more of a of a uh, buffer in the standpipe over the intake of the drive pipe. So uh, 
maybe not super successful, but uh, we are pumping some water, and so I consider that to be success. Um, yeah, it's interesting how uh, how much rain it takes to replenish aquifers to actually penetrate soil enough to get down in and, and replenish aquifers. Anyway, I thought you'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.